In this video, we are going to look at the top five subjective and objective features of clinical cervical spine instability. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. Back in another video, Kai presented a similar list of subjective and objective features for clinical instability of the lumbar spine. Cook et al. have conducted a second Delphi study to identify which subjective and objective signs and symptoms could be indicative of clinical cervical spine instability. So here's the list of the top five subjective symptoms. Number one is the intolerance to prolonged static postures, such as sitting behind a desk or working at an assembly line. Number two is fatigue and the inability to hold the head up. When there is fatigue or the inability to hold head up, a third subjective symptom is symptom decrease with external support, which includes propping on the hands or wearing a collar. Just like in lumbar spine instability, a fourth subjective symptom is the frequent need for self-manipulation. And number five is the feeling of instability, shaking or lack of control. The top five objective identifiers are number one, poor coordination or neuromuscular control, including poor recruitment and dissociation of cervical segments with movement. Number two is abnormal joint play. Thumbs up if you want a video on how to do that. Number three is motion that is not smooth throughout range of motion, including segmental hinging, pivoting or fulcruming. Just like in lumbar spine instability, aberrant movement is another objective identifier of clinical cervical spine instability. And at last, number five, which is hypomobility of the upper thoracic spine. As mentioned in our previous video on lumbar spine instability, it is important to recognize that there is no valid clinical test to diagnose spinal instability. Therefore, a Delphi study is the best available evidence we have. If you want to watch more videos on the topic, watch our playlist on the left. And if you're not subscribed yet, you can do this by clicking our logo. And make sure to check out other ways to support us by clicking the info icon in the top right corner or links in the video description. As always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.